Hello guys, my name is Kishan and today we are going to look at create table statement in Oracle SQL. But before we go to create table statement, we'll just understand the table, the concept of a table in an RDBMS system. So the table is a basic unit of data storage in any RDBMS system. In a table, what you would find is multiple columns, you know, a table has fixed number of columns and, and a table will have n number of rows. So over here what you see is I have created, I have shown a, a diagram of a table called as employees. This table employees has employee ID, first name, last name and department ID columns. Okay. So each of this employee ID is a column, then first name is a column, last name is a column and department ID is a column. Also you have multiple rows. Say suppose this first row. What is it? It states employee ID is 100, first name is Kishan, last name is Mushru and department ID is 10. So where a row and a column intersects is known as a cell. So when I say department ID 100, that means this 100 is, is, a, is called as a cell. Now you can define a table with any name. The maximum allowed character in Oracle is 30. Okay, then you have multiple columns and these columns are given a particular name and particular data type say suppose employee id is the name of a column okay uh, it it uh, you, as you can see it is storing numbers so the data type will be number then first name and last name are you know uh, character or where cares then department id is again number so you define a table with a name and also you give one or more columns and give names to those particular columns and assign some data type to them Okay, then you can have more specific rules on a table. A rule such as, I would say like, employee ID can never be null. A null in Oracle is like, non-existence of data. So you can say that employee ID should always be present. So you can make a rule on it, you can make it mandatory. Okay, then you can say like, uh, this department ID over here, uh, it needs to be referenced from some other table. So such different kind of rule set of rules you can apply to a table uh, which will further cover those are called constraints. So once a table is created you can then do DMLs on the table such as insert, update, delete and if you want to you know change the structure of the, and of the table then you will use the DDL statements, alter table and all. Yeah, so as I said, a table can have a max length of 30 characters, the name of the table. You should always use descriptive names. And if we are using any abbreviation, such as if it's a master table and I'm using MAS, like say country underscore MS, means country is master table, then we should we should make it consistent throughout the database. Like all the master tables should have that underscore MS so that it can be easily recognized. These are just uh, guidelines or, you know, uh, simple things that can make our tables and you know other things more readable and it is always advised that if a table is going to if any columns of the table are going to contain null values then they should be at the last uh, in the table in the create table statement so that we can store some space we can uh, save some space like see I, over here i have kept department id and last name at the end because they might it is you can consider like they have null data then those columns should come at the end in the create table statement now we'll look at the different types of table we get in an oracle sql so first of all we have ordinary tables or we can say you know uh, the tables that we use in day to day uh, our work and these tables uh, are mostly heap organized means like uh, whenever you insert in data it is organized in a heap structure so when you retrieve data from that table there is no particular order through which the data is retrieved when you write a select star from table name the data that comes out of the table does not come in any specific order because the uh, sto uh, the storage of the data is also done in a heap manner second are cluster tables um, the tables that are often you know used together they are uh, clubbed into clusters and they would share uh, common data blocks and columns and all so those are cluster tables then there are index organized table 
like how I said in an ordinary table the data is stored in a heap structure where you know uh, there is no particular order of the retrieval of the data in that table whereas in an index organized table what will happen is data will be stored according to the primary key values so whenever you know you fetch any data based on you know where clause where a primary key is used the performance uh, would be better because the data is already stored in an indexed organized manner also it would use the disk space more efficiently then comes partitioning tables now say suppose you have a very huge table and it contains data for say many years and it's if it's a transactional table the data will get more and more at the as you know the time passes so then comes the concept of partitioning where you can partition the table means you are creating small small uh, you know you are partitioning the table into you are breaking it down into more smaller parts which are then easy to manage and these small parts will be called as partitions and these uh, parts can be indi uh, uh, managed individually and we can operate them independent of the other partition thus so it gives us a benefit so instead of scanning through whole table we'll be scanning through just a partition so that way it's a, that is a concept of partitioning in tables and then comes external tables external tables are like you know read only tables uh, whose metadata is in our table but the actual data is uh, stored outside the database so those are you know external tables and now what we'll do is we'll just look at the create table statement so the create tables for creating any table in your particular schema in the user's own schema you need a create table system privilege okay if you want to create the table in any other user schema you need create any table system privilege now this is the basic create table statement so what is what we can see in a create table statement is first of all create table keyword then the schema name dot table name over here the schema name is optional if you are if you are going to create a table in some other user schema you need to mention it otherwise it's not required then comes the opening braces and then the column name like over here i have column name employee id so that will come here column name then comes the data type and uh, the size of the data type like if i say number then how how long can a number be stored like if i say number 3 it means i can maximum store 999 okay if i say where care 5 means i can store a max of 5 characters like that and size is also optional like for a number size is optional db uh, the oracle db will take some uh, default value but if you are doing a where care or a character you need to specify size okay then we different type of data types available are you know numbers uh, where care characters date timestamp many of those you know there are many like long row a lot of them are available so depending on the kind of data that is to be stored in the column we have to you know determine the data type and the size of that particular column then comes the not null keyword now what not null says is if we mention something like not null uh, you cannot insert a null value for that particular column if i don't mention anything by default a null is taken okay and then comes the constraint like you can the column can be a primary key or a unique key like that and then comes the enable and disable keywords now enable and disable like i can create a primary key keep it in an enable state or you know just disable it or instead of dropping i can just disable so that again if i want in future i can enable it so that enable disable keyword comes that is also optional there's no need to mention any of those by default oracle will take it as enable then you give a comma and then you give other column so similarly you can give n numbers of columns fine at the end you close after the columns are uh, stated with the data types you close the braces that means these are the columns and then there are many optional uh, clauses like a storage clauses available then you have table space like you can specify in which table space you want to create tab this then there are many such as pct use pct free no logging memory uh, kind of options available but those will be a more advanced stage of the create table statement currently i'll look at this and i'll also explain after creating a table what are those other uh, you know clauses that we can get so now we'll jump right into our sql developer and we'll just create this uh, create a table okay 
so what I'll do is I'll first of all write a create table statement and let me create a table called as EMP okay so how we do is we write create table now comes the schema name if we are going to create another user schema currently I want to create a table in this HR schema itself so I'll, there's no need for me to give a schema name I'll just give the table name let me give it as EMP okay and now I'll open the braces what I normally do is I open it close it put a semicolon and in between I would write my column names and all so this is a habit that I have created for myself okay so let me put a column called as employee ID uh, let me give a data type of number and the size as let's say 3 okay then I put a not null clause that means uh, the there has to be an employee ID when a record is inserted in the inserted updated from this table okay I give it not null I put a comma I come again and I I give the other column as say employee name okay I give a where care to data type with a size of say 30 I make it also as not null then I put something like uh, department DPT ID department ID I'll give data type as number okay now I have no more columns to put so there's no need for a comma and when I execute this in SQL developer I use mostly control enter and it's it is stating currently giving an error saying the name is already in use by an existing object so I already have a table called as EMP in my schema so what I'll do is I just give another name such as demo underscore EMP and now when I create it as you can see the table is successfully created now I'll just describe this table that we just created all you need to write is DESC and then our table name so as you can see you have a description of the table over here it says the it gives the column name the nulls uh, whether it is not null or nullable and the data type right so this way you can describe in any existing table or you can you know just press your control go on the table it will come as a hyperlink then you can click the hyperlink and the table will get opened or you can go in the uh, you know this uh, schema expansion go into tables just refresh it once and you can find demo EMP table that we just created I'll go in the SQL you can see this detailed SQL statement so as you notice I just created up till this closing braces the other clause are kept by the Oracle database itself so this is an Oracle 11g release to database that I have installed so based on that there will be some default clauses that are attached based on your version on what you are working these clauses might vary okay so I have over here segment creation deferred that means unless and until any data is inserted in this table uh, depending uh, segments are not created segments such as the table itself the indexes and all then is PCT free 10 PCT use 40 I'll create another video to understand what actually PCT free and PCT used is then you have init trans 1 max trans 2 it is also a deeper concept like how many simultaneous uh, transaction can access a particular block I'll create a separate video on that then there is no compression logging when we say no compresses like we are not going to compress any of the data or the tables data uh, and logging means we are going to log the SQL statements that are going to be fired on that and then there is this table, table space users so for this HR schema the by default table space will be users so it will create a table under that table space if you want the table to be created in some other table space you can give this table space and the name whatever okay so this is our create table statement how to describe a table and then various clauses that we have looked upon in this video I hope this video was informative as I stated I'll create more videos on you know all those storage clauses uh, stay tuned to watch them I hope this video was informative and you guys enjoyed it please do like and share the video and subscribe to our channels um, this is Kishan signing off thank you